Module 14, The Social Domain The social domain is an essential aspect of child development. It encompasses various skills and behaviors that are critical for children to interact and engage with others effectively. The social domain includes social skills, socialization, social responsibility, and social studies. Social skills refer to a child's ability to communicate and interact with others. Children learn social skills through play and interactions with their peers, caregivers, and family members. They learn how to share, take turns, and engage in cooperative play. These skills help children form positive relationships and develop healthy social habits that will benefit them throughout their lives. Socialization is another critical aspect of the social domain. It involves a child's ability to understand and follow rules and routines. Children learn socialization skills through structured activities and routines, such as attending school and participating in extracurricular activities. Socialization helps children learn how to behave appropriately in different settings and with different people. Social responsibility is another vital component of the social domain. It involves a child's understanding of their role in society and their responsibilities towards others. Children learn social responsibility through community service, volunteering, and other activities that teach them to be active and engaged citizens. Finally, social studies are also part of the social domain. Children learn about the world around them through social studies, which includes history, geography, and culture. They learn to differentiate between things that happened long ago and things that happened yesterday. Social studies help children develop an understanding of the world and the people in it, which promotes empathy and compassion. Social competence. The social domain aims to equip children with social competence, which encompasses the knowledge and skills required to achieve the following objectives. Establish and maintain satisfying relationships. Develop self-control. Develop prosocial attitudes. Develop civic values. Social competence is important. Having social competence holds great significance as it positively impacts various aspects of a child's life. Research suggests that children who possess social competence tend to lead a more contented and healthy life. They perform better academically and hold positive attitudes towards people, school, and themselves. They also tend to have more positive interactions with their peers and adults. Social skills. Acquiring social skills is crucial for children as it enables them to establish contact, maintain positive relationships, resolve disagreements. The role of the teacher. The teacher plays a significant role in facilitating the development of children's social skills. This is achieved through various methods, including modeling, expansion, coaching, and mediating. Modeling involves the teacher setting an example for the children to imitate, while expansion entails the teacher elaborating on ideas that the children are struggling to understand. Coaching involves guiding the students toward the desired response. For example, coaching can be practiced by giving children information about how their actions affect others. Planning is also an essential role that teachers play in facilitating the development of children's social skills. Effective planning involves creating a learning environment that is safe, engaging, and conducive to learning. Teachers must plan activities that provide opportunities for children to develop social skills such as communication, cooperation, empathy, and problem-solving and mediating involves helping to resolve minor conflicts between the children. Socialization Socialization refers to the process of acquiring the knowledge and skills required to conform to the norms and expectations of society. In children, socialization is fostered through the day-to-day -day interactions they have with adults. Teachers play a crucial role in promoting socialization by incorporating activities into their lesson plans that expose children to socialization-related content and skills on a daily basis. Social Responsibility Social responsibility involves taking actions that contribute to making the world a better place. Even in early childhood, children can learn about social responsibility by exhibiting kindness towards others and taking care of their environment both indoors and outdoors. Prosocial skills. Prosocial skills embody the best of human behavior, such as cooperating, helping, comforting, encouraging, and taking care of others. 
children can develop these skills by recognizing when others are in need, making conscious decisions to help or cooperate with them, and finally taking action to do so. Through these actions, children can learn the value of kindness and empathy towards others. Perspective-taking is an essential aspect of prosocial behavior in children. It involves the ability to understand and take into account another person's thoughts, feelings, needs, and beliefs, which can help children to develop empathy, compassion, and a sense of social responsibility. Environmental Awareness Environmental awareness involves learning about the natural environment and taking responsibility for its care. Children can become more environmentally aware by gaining knowledge about the natural world and assuming responsibility for the care of the environments in which they live. This can involve actions such as reducing waste, conserving energy, and showing respect for nature. Modeling Adults can model various social behaviors for young children to observe, learn from, and imitate. For example, they can model how to appropriately enter or exit a social situation which can be beneficial for children's social development. Expanding At times, children may initiate an interaction but struggle to keep it going. This can cause the interaction to lose momentum or end abruptly. To help children overcome these challenges, teachers can briefly intervene and expand the interaction in new directions, encouraging children to explore different ideas and perspectives. Mediating while children can often resolve conflicts on their own, there may be instances where aggression occurs or they are unable to defuse the situation. In these cases, mediation can be a helpful scaffolding strategy for teachers to use. By stepping in and facilitating communication and problem-solving, teachers can help children come to a resolution and learn effective conflict resolution skills. Strategies Helping Children Face Diversity To help children embrace diversity, Teachers can implement various strategies, such as providing opportunities for children to interact with adults from different cultural groups. They can also invite grandparents to the classroom to discuss their current activities, challenging stereotypes about older people. Another effective strategy is to invite community members with disabilities to participate in the classroom regularly. Additionally, Teachers can include food, artifacts, stories, and other contributions from children's families in the curriculum promoting cultural awareness and acceptance. Three R's of Social Responsibility The three R's of social responsibility are Recycle, Reduce, Reuse. These actions promote sustainability and help to minimize waste and environmental harm.